my father is uh, Jeff Ford's son. But okay, yeah. How did that? How does that? <clears throat> I know with the way that everything synergizes around him. How does that affect you? Like being one here in in the inner city. Yeah. I love, like I said, I love my city. So it's a little. It's a gift and a curse. I use that because uh, you get good and you get bad. Um, people take, you know, my grandfather Jeff Ford, like as you know, some people media wise take it as a negative or a bad thing. When he did a lot of great. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. My father is uh, Jeff Ford's son. But okay, yeah. How did that? How does that? <clears throat> I know with the way that everything synergizes around him, how does that affect you, like being one here in, in the inner city? Yeah. I love, like I said, I love my city. So it's a little, it's a gift and a curse. I use that because uh, you get good and you get bad. Um, people take, you know, my grandfather Jeff Ford, like as, you know, some people media wise take it as a negative or a bad thing. When he did a lot of great. So a lot of times when I run into people, it's love. You know what I mean? Because it's like they got love from what he was implicating in the city, you know. And uh, my father was the one that stood on business, you know, like period. Like he was, so that's why I said like it was never like he wasn't in the house because he wasn't in the house. Because every house was his house in a sense, you know what I mean? And his And he treated his the mother of his kids as princesses or queens, you know, so we knew each other. It was, it was just, it's like if a kid f run up the block and everybody gonna watch him. Yeah. That's how it felt. Yeah. So you not, so some of these things, like I never, it was never like, it was never a bad thing. You know, he ended up going to jail and doing things like that, of course. And, um, that affect us as kids. Little do, do we know. So your father ended up going to jail. Yeah, he went to jail as well. You know. And when he went to jail, um, what did that? How did that? How old were you when he went to jail? I was really a baby. Like when I say that, like four, yeah, five. But yeah. I remember. Yeah, you remember. You know, my, my, my mom shot at my dad when I was three <laughs> in the living room. I never forget. Yeah. So. You know, I know you can remember. I heard this before. You heard it when I spoke about one of your interviews. And say, and yeah, and check my, this yeah. Out. So that's the, so you can remember. Yeah, I believe yeah. that, and that's real. And that's and I think that's what's crazy about it because, like, so we was born on Fifty Third and Carpenter. Okay, you know, I was raised on that for a little while growing up in the city, and uh, I remember cutting my leg or my yeah. my foot, like running to the store, which you know, in the in the city we call that Motown, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, but I ended up moving from that, and I remember everything. I remember going to see my father in jail, you know what I mean? And I remember crying because I wanted to leave and eat, and I'm talking about I don't want to come back here no more, <laughs> you know, because I'm ready to eat. But I, I you know, I, I you remember it, and I remember it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I hate that, you know, I used them words at that time, you know, but um, it, was yeah. cool. it was good. But we get lessons. It was a lot of lessons that we was able to see. We didn't know certain things being youthful you think you know it all but you don't know it all you don't know why these people love you like they love you or you, you don't you don't know why you got the the green light for certain things right. or, or just just that love so i mean i felt like due to what they did like that father figure was always around yeah regardless. yeah you so know. your grandfather did you ever go see him i never went to go see my grandfather why? is this well, due to a lot of like system system things, like uh, paperwork and yeah. him being all the way in Colorado and Supermax, and uh, it just didn't happen. And uh, due to the way they was trying to, you know, and it's just history that I got from my people. Whatnot, of course. Um, due to how they was um, raiding and, and trying to, you know, arrest him and stuff like that. Like a lot of people, like my mother, she went into kind of like a hat in a sense, you know. So for years, uh, we was put up uh, that we thought we was put up, but it was right in broad daylight, <laughs> you know. And, and I mean that, like, you know, they say hat in plain sight, like that's right. a, a, a tactic. It was really that, and, it, and, and I say that because find out we was right in the heart of things that my mother was like I thought I got you away from these things you wow. know what I'm saying and it was he like, kind of followed you exactly so but just to answer the question like 
it was hard to so for a long time like it was like we was trying not to even be around it you know my father was still living at the time and um we was um so when he finally got out like in 90 something or whatnot like mm -hmm. 95 96 he contacted my mother he always sent things you know out of jail like paintings and things like that I don't know how they was painting in jail, <laughs> but he would send things, you know, Prince this and Princess this with me and my sister. Uh, and, you know, I still got them. I'm really? I'm over my fireplace. So, so what was it like, <laughs> sorry, I'm meeting him for the first time, seeing him for the first time when he got out? It was like I knew him. It was like, I, I mean, I knew who he was. And um, to be real, like, if somebody felt like taking my father away, you know, lock him up and do things like that was going to make me feel any different towards him. Like, I really felt heroish to him regardless. Okay. You know, so when he came home, it was like, I was proud. I was happy. I was, you know, it was like, I, I'm, 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 you know, it was, it was completion, it felt at the time, you know. And, um, and we just, I remember him calling. My mother, she, she's a 411 something, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, but she was all in church and doing things like that. And um, I remember when he came home, he contacted her to see us. So she did her 007 type stuff. They, they, she meet him up like she was meeting the money. Mm -hmm. You know, the guys meeting the guys. <laughs> we meet at gas stations. What's up? What you want to talk about? So, and uh, I remember he got me in the car with him and she almost called the police because she just started driving. See, my mother was, she wasn't admitted or nothing behind me, but she was poor to certain things. <laughs> Uh, so she just started driving late. Okay. You know, so she just started driving. She couldn't keep up with him. Let me ask you this. <laughs> now, I mean, cause, but yeah. the reason she was taking you guys and meeting him like that, was it because of certain situation, the, the gangs and uh, all the stuff that go with that? Um, yeah, and then, You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause, it was like cause a, of, yeah, and You don't want the, you to be, be seen or be a part of something yeah. and you're trying to keep it something detached, keep yeah. it kind of detached trying from it. Trying to keep it. you protected. Right, exactly. It was definitely us, her keeping us protected all the time. Correct. That was her thing. That was her thing. That was his thing. Because you got to understand, you guys are from a family where, you know, the uh, your grandfather who is, I mean, they look at him as a, a like yeah. a, uh, a patriarch, you know, when it comes down to the Black Peace Stone or whoever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They they know this how this is the history of yeah. it. So for you to try to move around or deal with certain situations, she's going to have that protective covering yeah. over you, man. And that's the, that was their agreement as well. You know, people don't know that. Like, that was their agreement to take care of the kids. That's yeah. what he asked for his, the women of his kids, period. He was never like, playing the victim in jail type of guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he, How long did he stay locked up? Do you know? I was like nine when he came. So four like nine, eight, about five, eight, eight, five, eight nine, years. Yeah. You know, he wasn't, excuse me, he wasn't out, you know, um, too long, I would say, until, you know, he ended up being murdered himself, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.